Winds will be colder as you wake up in the morning, and although we're not seeing accumulating snow to speak of, things could be slick. We're already seeing some schools deciding to delay opening. Pendleton County schools tell us they're now on a two-hour delay tomorrow morning. We'll watch it for you. Nine on your side reporter Allie Kramer is out watching the roads to see where those potentially icy hazards could form. Allie? Hey, good morning. Good, good evening. That is Julie. I've already got the morning commute on my brain, but that's because we're going to be watching it overnight. And like you mentioned, some school closing delays actually already coming into the newsroom, and we expect several more. And usually those school delays are so that it gives drivers a little bit more time for the sun to, to come up so you can see some of the ice on the roads. Now, the biggest concern is going to be some of the wet pavements refreezing overnight. Now, as Sherry mentioned, um, we're not going to see a lot of accumulating snow, but of course, those temperatures are going to start to drop. It's already freezing in Indianapolis, so you're going to see that cold air kind of rapidly move in here, and that's going to be the biggest concern. AAA already on standby, waiting to see how this forms on the roads and to be able to get out there and help some of those drivers. And some of the other concerns are that there aren't salt trucks out on the roads right now treating because of all the rain that we've been getting. Oftentimes, they don't do that before rain events because it all gets washed away. So important to know that as soon as that rain stops, we're thinking maybe two or three in the morning, those those trucks will be able to be out there on the roads treating. But again, not until then. So what we're going to do for you tonight, we're going to be out driving on those roads, making sure that we get a full report for you in the morning. Again, starting live at 430 on Good Morning Tri-State. So be sure to wake up with us. Reporting live in Mount Adams, Allie Kramer, 9 on your side.